What's up? This is Fahrenheit, and I wanted to uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the death of Etika, which I just found out about, and uh, I'm gonna explain why I'm talking about this. Um, explain why I'm making this video. I could have just you know did a tweet, you know, tweeted about it. I felt like I needed to to make a video because I I really did have something to say, and I'm gonna get into what that is right now. Now, I didn't know Etika personally. My my background with him, just like many others, I've seen him in, you know, video form. You know, I've seen a uh I've seen some of his videos on YouTube. I've um I've watched his streams mainly. What drew me to watching his his streams is that he had a lot of uh a lot of personality, a lot of energy, you know. And it was entertaining and I I originally was watching him because, you know, he was playing a game that I was interested in and that's a lot of times like probably the the biggest draw for people is you see someone whose personality you you enjoy watching on screen and they're playing a game that you might find interesting or you might like, you know, and that's like a perfect combination. So I watched a video of his or, t or, or so and what I found interesting about him was that he was because I don't watch a lot of YouTube, you know, for the sake of just big YouTubers or big Twitch streamers. I don't really care about that. You know, I don't care about how big somebody is and how many people follow them. That doesn't mean that much to me. Um, so he was one of the first YouTube personalities and, 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 and Twitch streamers or well, he didn't really stream on Twitch. So let me correct that. Um, he may have, but when I was watching him, it was on uh, YouTube streaming. But either way, you know, he was he he was he was a social media personality of sorts. And I watched his videos, watched his streams, and I really it was seeing him was probably the first time when I where I would see someone that I personally was watching that seemed to be growing like exponentially. They were really big. It didn't matter what time of the day or night he was streaming, people were there you know, tens of thousands of people, I think, I feel like he, he would get like, he would bring, he would bring audiences, people would just show up, just watch him, you know, and, uh, and they would just donate all this money every five minutes, every few seconds, he's just donating, 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 and it was one of the first times I was seeing stuff like that happen, and I'm just like, wow, like, this is not only, like, this, this guy is doing some big things for himself, like, he's, he's, this is successful, this, this looks like su success to me, you know, and, and I, I applauded that, you know, I was, that was really good to see, you know, someone, you know, young like that, you know, achieving this entrepreneurial ship, you know, like building his own brand. And, and that's what I began to really appreciate about, about Etika is how he was able to create this brand. You know, had his, he had his logo, it was a dope logo, you know, uh, uh, he had some cool, um, uh, uh, graphical effects and, 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 and transitions for his streams, his videos, you know, and it really, I, I saw videos of his where he, he really stressed that he really wanted to bring quality videos. It's one of the reasons why um, he maybe took a while to release, you know, videos sometimes, according, according to him. You know, he, he really wanted them to be quality. I really felt like he was doing a good job with that. Um, just building his brand as an entrepreneur and in, in the social media sco uh, scope, you know, and that it, it's building a social media presence and building that brand up. And I was inspired by that. I mean, it's already something I kind of wanted to do, but I was seeing it in action through him as something that maybe I could do for myself. You know, he was like a physical manifestation of that. And so that was, it was inspiring to see. And, and I, I was, I, uh, I was happy for him that he was able to do these things, even though I came on to watching him later on down the line when it already seemed like he was kind of already achieving the, the, the fame and the, the recognition. But I know that can't be something that just happens easily. You know, he probably started from scratch just like a lot of people have. So I, I, I saw a few streams and um, a few videos and I, I would have him play in the background and I'd be working on something and, and I would watch a stream sometimes while I'd be eating and, and it was entertaining for a while. Um, but then it got to a point where I just felt like he he started becoming one of those those content creators and streamers who started with playing games and it was fun to watch them play games and stuff like that and then he stopped playing video games and uh he started doing other things you know and i just wasn't interested in some of the other stuff he was doing it seemed like he would just stream just to have people come in his stream and basically just react off of what people would show him and and just to kind of guess kind of just be fed the attention I, I don't know but it got to a point where i i felt anxious watching him I it was it would fill me with anxiety to a certain degree and I, I couldn't enjoy watching his his streams anymore 
So I stopped. And uh, as some time passed, I started hearing, you know, him being banned off certain social media platforms for one reason or another. Him tweeting or, or saying certain things that were causing concern and basically, I guess, causing this, you know, social media space to kind of like respond and in and, and whatever way they were responding, um, whether it be due to concern, whether it be due to, um, uh, you know, just the Internet just being the, the, the freaking Internet, you know, just, you know, memes everywhere and trolls or however. I don't know. I I really didn't have my ear to the ground that closely because, you know, I, I, I I'm not the type of person that plugs into the Internet like that. You know, I do, but I always make sure that I pull myself away from that. And, and I, I have a life outside of that to keep me to keep my, my feet on the ground. You know, I don't lose. um my perspective on on reality and and you see that with certain big big youtubers and and people in the social media space they start making videos and in that video they might do or say something and you're just like how could a person do that you know you would never have done that in real life in front of somebody you know and and I, i i always make sure that i'm not i don't want to end up in that place right so i i I tune out, you know, and go outside, talk to people, have a life outside of that. You know what I mean? So you don't, you don't, you're, your feet are always on the ground. And so I didn't really plug in to Etika much after that. But I'm hearing these things. You know, I'm hearing these things. They're still, they're still, it's, he, he got big enough where I'm still hearing because other people started talking about it. Other YouTubers and social media is talking about it. And so I'm hearing it. And I was, I was like, wow, what's going on here? Apparently he was saying something about, I don't know what he said, but he, I guess he tweeted or made a video and got people concerned. And then I believe it was a video of his. He actually came out and made a video about him, uh, you know, how he was addressing all this stuff. And he seemed like he had his head on straight. You know, he seemed like he was aware that people were concerned and that he was maybe doing things and a- acting in a way that, you know, it was causing for it was cause for concern. Um, he seemed like he was aware and he was trying to make a change. He seemed like he said, basically the video sounded like he found a resolve, you know, to, to keep moving forward and to clean himself up, you know, to get back on track or whatever it is his goal was, you know, as, a, as someone in the social media sphere, you know, as a, as a content creator and whatnot. And so I feel like that was, I feel like that was only a few months ago, I think. And then not too long after that, there was like a video or something of, uh, I guess he was recording of the police coming out to get him at his place and they took him away and then there was video of of him being pulled out in a stretcher while he's like yelling out at at an audience at people you know while he's on the stretcher and they take him away and then that's the last time I hear anything about this guy and I'm like what is happening and it was really interesting to see this only because if I go back and I look at how reason I stopped watching him I feel like it was because it was like he was feeding into a lot of social media controversy or he was he was becoming a bit too sporadic for my taste it just started to kind of trigger angst anxiousness like anxiety within me and then later on i see that he's just it's just getting more it seems like he's becoming more and more sporadic it's what it seems like that's what it sounds like was happening and now the next thing i hear is this today about about his death and then I, and I see this as I'm scrolling through social media and I sat there and I thought about that and I was just like, he's young. Like what happened? He was, he was lively, he was active, energy. What could have possibly, and I'm thinking to myself, it, the only thing it could have been was something psychological. It couldn't have been physical. It had to be psychological. What, what, but why? And then I find out it was suicide and I'm just like, wow. And so like the reason why I'm making this video, what it really comes down to is because what I see in this story with Etika, what I see with his life from, from the time that I started watching him, the little bit that I did, and, and the things I started hearing about this spiral downwards into this, this suicide is that it, it, it's actually a perfect example of, of aspects of myself. He did things that I really would like to be able to do for myself, and then he's also a perfect example of things that I don't want for myself, like the complete contrary of how I view myself and the person I want to be. And it's it's like it's, it's deeply connected to, and this is really why I'm making this video, because it's deeply connected to my philosophy for living, my philosophy for my life, okay? And, and that's why I couldn't just tweet about this. I had to 
speak it. I had to say it. It, it, it was the only way I felt like I would be able to convey not only my message, but my intent. You know, it, it, it my voice needed to be heard. And um, as I said, Etika looked like he was achieving the success, you know, at, at a young age. And it was the kind of success that I would like to have for myself, you know, being able to build my own brand, you know, my own logo and, 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 and people recognizing that logo and, and having, building my own little hovel, my own little niche, you know what I mean? And being able to survive off that and, and be successful, you know, and, 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 and happy, live happily and, and be able to, uh, you know, be an entrepreneur, you know, where there is no upper limit to what your success can be. And, and, and it's just a matter of how hard you're willing to work, how creative you can be and, and, and building your audience. And it is, it's just you and your audience, you know, and people just loving your work and the stuff you create and you just branching out and not worrying about having to wake up and grind at that nine to five or the two nine to fives. I mean, you know, just having two jobs, three jobs, having to work for you know, under people and having them cut your checks and just living that lifestyle, being an entrepreneur, doing what you're passionate about and turning that into something. And I feel like that's what he was doing. And he was doing it successfully in this era we live in with social media. And I, I, that was inspiring to me. And I would like to have that for myself in some fashion. That's the aspect of him that motivated me in that regard. But here's the other angle. Here's, here's the philosophy part, the part that I, that, that taps directly into my philosophy for living. I don't believe I'm the person I want to be just yet. I'm a work in progress still. And but the ideal version of myself is a version a person who who's unwavering in his resolve. But he's not closed-minded. He's open-minded. He's aware of his surroundings, but he's also he's aware of himself. But he doesn't budge due to negativity. And people just being negative and the world just being neg- negative just for the sake of it and trying to poison him. He's uncorruptible. He's focused. And he moves along his path with unwavering resolve. Etika took his own life. Some people, a lot of people actually, probably won't agree with this. My philosophy on suicide isn't as harsh as a lot of people's probably is. A lot of people see it as like the worst thing you could possibly do take your own life but my philosophy is not that my outlook on on suicide is that there's so many things in this world we don't have control over you might as well have control over how you you, the last action you take in this life at least how you go in my mind someone taking your life from you is worse considerably worse than you deciding to take your own life however what makes Etika's situation and a lot of suicides so devastating is the context in which the suicide happens. Context is everything. And I don't know if this is the case, but from the sounds of it, it seems like he wasn't quite mentally healthy. If a person, whether this is what happened with Etika or not, but based on what it's looking like, if a person takes their own life because they were psychologically not well or they were just they were falling through this spiral of mental anguish and they were it was it was a downward psychological spiral mentally emotionally a spiral downwards and that's why they took their lives that's what's devastating because then it sounds less like a choice and more like they were just mentally fragile and it just finally snapped and they just said screw it screw everything and that seems less like a choice and more like a just a, a desperate way to find peace that they just weren't getting. And that's what's so incredibly devastating. And see, that's the other part. That's the other thing that Etika has inspired me by. That philosophy, that person that I want to be, that I'm working towards being, is exactly what Etika was not in those final that final year or so. And it's unfortunate, but it's just an example. It's a prime example of somebody who's mentally not centered. They're not, they're not walking forward with their head held high with that solid resolve, unwavering resolve. It seemed almost as if he was poisoned by social media and by all the things that were happening, all the attention. And he was spinning, he was spinning, spiraling downwards and he let it get to him and he just needed a way out. And this is what he chose. 
but it wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't a a clear headed choice though it was it it was just a, a way out that's what it seems like as a successful content creator that inspired me in a way where i want it to be almost just like that but his downward spiral into his suicide also inspired me but in the opposite way it put a fire under my butt and it just reminded me of all the things that I don't want to be, how I have to stay focused, how I have to ha- keep a clear head, how I have to keep a strong resolve and not let things poison my mind and my way of being. Don't be closed minded, be open minded, but don't let people corrupt you. Don't let this world and social media turn you into something that you're not. And in that way, that aspect of, of his life into his death, that also inspired me. That's why I'm making this video. Etika inspired me in a way of something I would like to be as well as something I definitely don't want to be. And I thank him for both of those inspirations. It's very powerful. It's powerful for me. I don't really believe in the afterlife and stuff like that. My philosophy on that is that there, that's not a thing. When you die, you die. It's just over. It's just nothingness. But that's just personal, my own personal philosophy. But if there is an afterlife of any kind at all, if that is a thing, I hope Etika can find that peace in the afterlife that he just couldn't seem to find in life. So with that, my best wishes goes out to everyone who cared about him, everyone who knew him. Rest in peace, Etika.